In the shadows of Mordor, the Dark Lord Sauron forged the One Ring to enslave all elves, dwarves, and men of Middle-earth. The free people of Middle-earth overthrew Sauron, but lost the ring. Now the enemy has returned, and from his dark tower in Mordor, he seeks his ring. We must find the ring first, and destroy it. But who can bear to carry the ring? The weak would be corrupted. The powerful would become as great a threat as Sauron. But who can bear the ring? Welcome back, Gandalf. Will we have fireworks, elvish lessons, tales of ancient Numenor? Today, we must talk about a shadow of the past. The ring you inherited may be very dangerous. Uncle Bilbo's magic ring? Magic rings, as you call them, were made by elves. But this ring, I think, was made by another. Give me the ring. No! Look closely. I see fine lines. Lines of fire. In a flowing script. What does it say? One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, bind them. This is the one ring to rule them all. The ancient kings of elves, dwarves, and men use the rings of power to rule their lands. The Dark Lord Sauron created this ring to rule all the others. When he fell in battle, he lost it. A strange creature called Gollum found the ring and was corrupted by it. Bilbo won it from Gollum, and now it is yours. But the Lord of the Rings has returned, and all his thought is bent on finding the ring. Let's destroy it! It can only be destroyed when it was forged, in Mount Doom, the fire mountain in Mordor. Take it there! Take it! No, do not tempt me! If I bore the ring, I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Then... then I must guard the ring. And I will help you bear this burden, as long as it is yours to bear. I'm a danger to the Shire. I must leave. I could set out on the road just like Bilbo. My dear Frodo, hobbits really are amazing creatures. But you need not go alone, if there are any you can trust. But take care. The enemy has many spies. Well then, Samwise Gamgee, isn't it? Uh, don't hurt me! What are you doing at Bag End? Nothing, sir. Uh, trimming the grass under the window. Oh? The sound of shears stopped some time ago. How long have you been eavesdropping? Eavesdropping? Uh, there ain't no eaves at Bag End. Don't be a fool. What have you heard? Oh, Frodo, D don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. He won't hurt you. Just answer his question. Well, I heard a lot I didn't understand about lords and rings and a fiery mountain. And elves, sir. I had to listen. I dearly love to see elves. Keep it a secret, Sam. Or I hope Gandalf turns you into a spotted toad. I've thought of something better. He will go away with you, Frodo. Me, sir? Go and see elves and all? <laughs> Hooray! But where should we go? Towards danger, but not too rashly, nor too straight. And you mustn't vanish. Take time to settle your affairs before you leave. I could leave in autumn on my birthday. Very well, but no later. Make for Rivendell in the east, and seek the council of Elrond Half-Elven. East? I'll tell everyone I'm buying a house in Crick Hollow near my relatives in Buckland. I'll have to sell Bag End. The Sackville Bagginses have been trying to take over this place for years. A shame to let them have it. Indeed. 
And now I must go. I have much to attend to. As do I. See that Samwise Ganji does not talk, or I will turn him into a spotted toad. You can trust Sam. Oh, yes! Not a word from Sam Ganji, and that's for certain! Once you leave, travel as Mr. Underhill. The name of Baggins is not safe outside the Shire. And do not use the ring, for it can corrupt the most innocent heart. I understand. Farewell, Gandalf. <laughs> elves! <laughs> I'm going to see elves! Farewell, Frodo. I'll return by your birthday. But Gandalf did not come back, and as the nights grew longer, I decided I might have to leave without him. On the morning of my birthday, September 22nd, I set out for one final stroll around the Shire. I had to say farewell to my neighbours and sell my home to Lobelia Sackville Baggins. to you, Mr. Frodo. Good morning, Sam. All ready to set out for Buckland? Already? Or will be as soon as I tend to Bag End. Lobelia Sackville Baggins is behind the place. You don't need to weed Bag End ever again. I'd like to weed them Sackville Bagginses out of Bag End, if you get my meaning. No, I've got to weed that garden one last time, Frodo. Say my goodbyes to it. Set it to rights before Lotho and Lobelia ruin it. Bag End has the best garden in the Shire, thanks to your work. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, I I'm sure there are many finer. Oh, Mary Brandybuck said he was meeting Pippin Took at the Green Dragon and invited you to join. They took a long walk out here just for a drink. I wonder what mischief they're up to. Begging your pardon, sir, but there's little mischief to be found in the Green Dragon. The Keeper won't stand for it. We will see. Will we be off to see the elves soon, Frodo? Soon, Sam. I have a few things to take care of first. Will we be up? What a pretty bird. I'll not be here when these pumpkins get turned into pies. More's the pity. Excuse me? I am the Dread Highwayman Sancho, and I demand a toll, sir. But I'm a poor country hobbit with no gold to spare. <laughs> That's what Ted Sandyman said. So the Dread Highwayman had to take a stick out of the mill. Shut it all down, I did. What kind of a stick? You can't catch the Dread Highwayman. The bold sheriff has finally caught the Dread Highwayman. You don't frighten the Dread Highwayman. Give me the stick from the mill. I don't have it. I threw it at a weather vane, and now it's stuck up there. You had better be telling the truth. The bold sheriff has... <laughs> <laughs> Minto, what's the matter? Mrs. Sackville Baggins tried to hit me with her umbrella. Lobelia, why? I was chasing Sancho Proudfoot past Bag End. She said that was no place for little ruffians. What did you do? When she turned away, I threw an apple. I almost got her, too. She gave me a look that would curdle milk. <laughs> then went down to Bywater. 
Good riddance, I say. Try not to waste perfectly good apples that way. You're right. A rock would have been better. I'm sure you don't mean that, Minto. Sorry, Mr. Baggins. Well, goodbye. Have you seen Sancho Proudfoot? He took some of my firecrackers. Have you seen Sancho... Hello, Milo. Hello, Frodo. Seen any elves lately? I'm afraid not, I'm sorry to say. What about trolls? No trolls either. Good. It's about time you found your hobbit sense again. You know, some say you're as mad as your uncle, carrying on with that old wizard and all. I see. Well, at least they have something interesting to talk about then. Good day. What business do elves and wizards have in the Shire anyway? Hello there, Hal. Hello, Frodo. <coughs> Sandyman's Mill. It looks a lot more cheerful than Ted Sandyman. Hello, Ted. I wanted to say goodbye before I... Can't you see I'm busy? Actually, no. You seem to be just standing about. Well, if you knew about mills, you'd know I'm trying to locate a very important metal pin that must have fallen out of my mill wheel. Is that why the mill isn't working? Oh, never you mind about working or not working. I've sent Mugwort to Bree for a replacement. I'll let you know if I see it. What does it look like? <laughs> if I haven't found it yet, there's no way you can find it. But, uh... It looks like a plain metal pin. <clears throat> now, good day to you. Well, Baggins, found that metal pin? Or were you distracted by lunch? Hello there, Hal. Oh, hello, Frodo. You have a beautiful day to begin your trip to Crick Hollow. Yes, indeed. I'm too old for such long walks. I can't even climb high enough to fix my weather vane. What's wrong with it? The thing's stuck. Sorry to hear it. That rascal Sancho Proudfoot was throwing sticks at it. Now it won't turn at all. I'll take a look at it before I leave. Well, that'd be fine with me. The ladder's right over there. Weather vane turns like it's new. Thank you kindly for that. My pleasure, Hal. You've helped an old man when others might not have, and I thank you for it. I must have something around here as a reward. If you don't mind, I'll just take that metal pin that was jamming the weather vane. Eh? Of course. Take it. Thank you. Why would you want such a thing? It might help Sandyman fix the mill. My, you're a boon to all the Shire. Just trying to help. Good day, Hal. Well, well, the mill wheel spins again. Thanks to Frodo Baggins, of all people. You've done me a valuable service today, Baggins. Why, thank you, Ted. Good day. I sent my man to Bree for that part. All for naught. Curse the luck. The bridge to Bywater. The same path Bilbo took when he began his adventure long ago. Frodo? Hello, Angelica. We shall miss you terribly, Frodo. Indeed. You're going ever such a long way away. But 
practically to the other end of the world. Just the other end of the Shire. It's so far to travel. I hope you can return to Hobbiton one day. So do I. Goodbye, Frodo. Goodbye, Angelica. Hello, Frodo. Hello, Angelica. fish I caught here with Bilbo. I'll miss the next farmer's market. This square will be brimming over with the freshest crops. Belonged here in Hobbiton, Frodo. You and your mad Uncle Bilbo. Then we shall see, dear Frodo. We'll see who's the master and who's humble. We like things orderly here in the Shire, but you have dangerous friends from outside. My mother says your Uncle Bilbo embarrassed the whole Baggins family by going off on mad adventures. If you're wise, you'll stay away from the old forest and them that go into it. Why, if it were up to me, I would keep out the kind of scoundrels you consort with. Out for good! I've heard tell you're going away to live in Buckland again. You've taken leave of your senses at last, just like Bilbo. He's known all over the Shire as Mad Baggins. That's embarrassing to our side of the family. It'll take a long time to restore respectability to the name Baggins. Let me give you some advice, Frodo. Don't cross the Sackville Bagginses. I'll be master of Bag End one day, and a lot more besides. Well, if it isn't the Mr. Frodo half a Baggins himself, out for a stroll amongst the common folk. I'm not half a brandy buck like you, and that's a fact. You might have cowed my parents, old boy, but not me. Not Lotho Sackville Baggins. Bucklanders are strange folk, living right next to the old forest. Oh, it's a wicked place, and it makes those hobbits strange indeed. I hope you have more hobbit sense than Bilbo, dear Frodo. Too good for the likes of us he is. Well, I'm a real Baggins, a full Baggins. I'm not half a brandy... Hello, young Baggins. Cheers on your birthday. Thank you kindly, Daddy Twofoot. I haven't seen your wizard friend about lately. I do miss those fireworks. So do I. I remember the day when all those dwarves came to call on Mr. Bilbo. Dwarves and a wizard. Life is quieter now. I don't know about quieter. You hear such strange stories these days. Long dead bearer whites waking near the old forest. Great armies in the east and south, dwarves and big people fleeing, elves traveling west and never coming back. Ah, but I'm chattering on. Safe travel to you. You and Sam be careful out on that road, Frodo. Buckland is too close to the old forest for comfort. Keep away from those tree men I've heard tell of. And don't you wander onto those barrow downs. You and Sam be... Frodo, have time to enjoy a mug with me? Hello, Sheriff. Just saying goodbye. Off on adventures? What? Adventures? I don't have adventures. Why not? All the great dragons in hiding from the fearsome Bagginses. <laughs> don't worry, Frodo. It's just my little joke. Everyone knows you're a respectable hobbit. Unlike your Uncle Bilbo, bless him. Of course. Well, goodbye, Robin. Nothing I like more than a mug or two while making my Sheriff rounds and hearing the latest gossip. Nothing I like. Hello there, Master Gamgee. Well, hello, young Frodo. I hope my boy Sam does well tending your garden out there in Crick Hollow. Well, if he slackens, you be sure to send word to me. Your son's a very good worker, Master Gamgee. He's not but a ninny hammer. 
But you're kindly to take the lad with you. Do be careful out there on the road. I've heard tell of strange doings. Hungry wolves have been seen in the South Farthing. Or so I heard from Hugo Bracegiddle at the Ivy Bush Inn. Wolves? In the Shire? Well, that's what I says to him. Wolves in the Shire? My old dad told me those tales when I was but a lad. I never thought I'd see such times. I hope the wolves will leave as quickly as they came. Goodbye, Master Gamgee. Let the wolves howl all they want, so long as they leave my taters alone. There have not been wolves since the fell winter, when the brandy wine froze over and white wolves came down out of the north. Let the wolves howl. Hello there, Rosie. And hello to you, Frodo Baggins. I wish you fair weather for your journey. Um, where's Samwise? I'll catch up with him before I set out. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. Well, perhaps you can teach that Samwise some manners. What's he done? Nothing I've caught him at, but he's likely one of those pranksters that have been ringing the Bywater warning bell with stones. If we ever need to ring the bell, Sheriff Robin may ignore it, thinking it's a child's prank. I'm sure Sam would never do that. Perhaps. Well, return as often as you can. You will return from time to time, won't you, Frodo? I surely hope so. You will return. Hello, Frodo. What took you so long? Did that sluggard Sam Gamgee forget to tell you that we'd be here? Never mind Sam. What brings you two scoundrels all the way to Bywater? Breakfast, though. We're up to lunch now. Pull up a chair. You came all this way just for breakfast? Can't tell. It's a conspiracy. Don't tell him. Oh, too late. Our conspiracy is unmasked. May as well tell him everything now. Since you'll be walking past old Maggot's farm, we thought we'd have a go at his garden again. Three is company. Just like old times. Remember those mushrooms? I remember his ferocious dogs. I believe Frodo's afraid. Are you afraid, Pippin? I'm never afraid, Mary. Those dogs are all bark and no bite. Old Maggot threatened to show me their bite. Only because he caught you. Well, just be careful this time. Remember the smell of those mushrooms cooking? I do love mushrooms. Then it's settled. We'll meet you at Maggot's farm. Hey, Mary, I hear tell that Sam Gamgee is sweet on rosy cotton. Not Sam. He only loves his taters. Hey, Mary. Hello, Lobelia. Where's the sheriff? Where's that lazy Robin Smallborough? I couldn't say. Now about Bag End. Never you mind all that. There are wolves in the Shire. I'm sure the Sheriff is keeping everyone safe. How could he? I haven't told him about the wolves yet. Go away, Frodo. I need the Sheriff. Just ring the warning bell. If he's anywhere in Bywater, he'll come running. Don't just hang about then. Ring the warning bell. No time for chattering, boy. Get that bell ringing. There. I've rung the warning bell. Now, what's going on? I don't hold with reckless bell ringing. I rang the bell. Lobelia wants you to know there are wolves in the Shire. Oh, is that all? I've heard that rumor, but I reckon no one's seen these wolves. Not even Lobelia. Oh. If any wolves approach the Shire, the Bounders will chase them off, just as they chase away foxes and such. I'm glad the Shire is well protected. Now, if that's all, I've got a mug to return to in the Green Dragon. Someone finally came to his senses and rang that bell. Now we'll have safety and order in the Shire. I do hope so. Now then, what did you want to speak to me about? Make it snappy, I have a lot of things to tend to. It's about Bag End. You said you wanted to buy it. What? But I thought you were lying, you deceitful boy. I believe that when I have the deed in my hand. Did you bring it? Here's the deed to Bag End. Oh, I can scarcely believe it. The deed to Bag End? I shall need to remove a few belongings. I'll leave the Bag End key with Master Gamgee of Number 3 Bagshot Row, if you don't mind. What? Gamgee? That dirty potato grubber and his son might plunder all of Bag End in the dead of night. Good day, Lobelia. Yes. Yes. A very good day indeed. My sweet little Lothar will be so happy. Bag End at last. Oh. 
Why you consort with that kind, I'll never know, Frodo. Having farmers and dwarves and wizards for company, and never inviting your own flesh and blood to tea. Honestly. Yes. Yes. Oh. Hello, Noakes. Good to see you up and about again. I thank you. I'm fit as a horse again. Folks will be calling me well-preserved, like they do your Uncle Bilbo. Bless him. Glad to hear it. Why, it's this new herbal tea I've been drinking. Good. Well, I'm off to... My old bones ain't stiff and sore. And that's a fact. It's a wonder. That must be very special tea. And now I have to... Not special at all. The herbs grow wild in the Northlands. Parsley, pine needles, and kingsfoil. I had four bundles of herbs, until that Sancho Proudfoot took them, scattered them all about. Perhaps I can help. Found any of those herbs yet? Here's one of those packets of herbs Noak spoke of. Hello there. Good day, lad. You're a Baggins, ain't you? Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo Baggins! Live in that grand place atop the hill. Bilbo's place. How have you been, Bilbo? Frodo. Frodo, right. Well, not time to chat. I'm off to Bray on an errand for Ted Sanderman to get parts for the mill. Haven't you heard? The mill is running again. What luck? Did Sanderman fix it? I found the pin. So I've you to thank. And thank you, I do. Happy to help. Well, I best be getting back to the mill, Bilbo. Sanderman will want me working, not strolling around in the countryside. Well, I best be getting...
this fence. Grip! Fang! Woof! What's all this racket? That would be me, sir. Well, well. We have a burglar in the fields. Burglar? All done with your mushroom thieving? Or would you prefer to take it up with the lads? No. I, I mean, right you are, sir. Now off with you, or I'll have the lads dispose of you proper. Sheriff Plank to mind the Sancho's age, but I never took an old man's medicine. I have found these herbs for you. Thank you, young Frodo Baggins, for bringing me these herbs. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Good day, young Baggins. Now, I know your buckling relatives fool about with boats, but you keep off them. Good day.
I think it's time for me, and the ring, to leave Hobbiton and begin this journey.